Um, so yeah, so my presentation on the EAU was about um, transcriptomic sequencing of uh, high-risk non-muscle invasive bladder cancer patients, um, and um, these patients are normally treated with BCG. Um, and BCG is an immunotherapy, um, uh, and the immunotherapy is very old. We, we give this to patients since the 80s, 90s, and it, has, um, uh, it, it works quite uh, efficiently. However, 30 to 50% of the patients uh, fail treatment, and then there is a major problem worldwide that in that there is a shortage of BCG. Um, and next to that, there is a shortage. Um, uh, patients also do not know whether they will respond to treatment or do not respond to treatment. So for that reason, we try to find out uh, if we can come up with some sort of um, a new optimized risk stratification for these patients and try to find out which patients will have a good response to BCG and which patients have a worse response to BCG. Um, and, and right now, these, um, uh, this risk stratification is based upon clinical pathological variables. Um, and in the future, we'd like to add molecular features to this stratification. Um, and by doing, the, by doing so, we can maybe also uh, go after the mechanism of this treatment and find out what makes patients uh, respond to treatment and what kind of molecular features are associated with non-response to treatment. So we collected a huge cohort of around 700 patients um, and we selected those patients that have the best outcome after treatment and those that had the worst outcome after treatment. Uh, we sequenced those patients and from the patient group, that have had a worse outcome and had a high-grade recurring uh, disease after treatment. We also sampled the post-BCG recurring recurrence. Now, um, interestingly enough, if we really looked at the differences between responders and non-responders to treatment, uh, we didn't find major differences. But when we started to um, a subtype of these patients, uh, so we made molecular classification based upon the gene expression profile, we noted that there were several different groups of patients that had their unique molecular RNA features. And interestingly enough, we found one uh, group of patients, the BCG response signature 3, um, uh, in which the patients showed an um, uh, epithelial to mesenchymal transition um, profile, an EMT profile with an immune suppressive uh, features. Uh, for instance, we noted uh, deregulatory uh, cells um, uh, when we did protein validation. We also saw macrophages and we saw B cells. And um, um, importantly, if we uh, uh, saw that this specific patient group had a very high risk of progressive disease. Um, and now we found a way to actually select these patients with our molecular um, classification. Um, so we can not only identify them, but we can also, um, we also noted that there were distinct molecular features that um, um, were unique for, this pa for these patients. And then if we looked after treatment with BCG, we saw that uh, prior to treatment, only one in three patients had such an aggressive phenotype. But after treatment, we noted that more than two-thirds of the patients had this aggressive phenotype, uh, meaning that probably those patients with the, with the good outcomes, those patients do not have a recurring disease, but the patients that have um, the, worst, the, 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 the worst phenotype, the, the group of patients with the um, worst characteristics, these actually recur and pop up again after treatment. So I think this is um, uh, very, very important because this is for the first time we've seen that um, risk stratification in um, bladder cancer, BCG-treated bladder cancer, can be optimized with uh, molecular features.